Yo, YouTube, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to today's video where, ladies and gentlemen, we are here back bringing you guys another episode of the PvP Cloud Minecraft Skyblock series. Hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day today. And really, if you guys are new here, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. So if you guys did not know, the server updated a few days ago. We released the brand new Spice Loot Boxes, and things have gotten a little intense here on the server. If you take a look at IS Top right now, uh, it's getting real close. So right now, IS Top number one has just under 1.4 quad and then ice top number two has 600 trill and then right now ice top three is at 200 trill so there's some separation right now between all the islands and we are currently sitting at 70 trillion dollars so things are getting interesting it's gonna be a ton of fun to dive into something i learned and figured out in today's video so make sure you guys pay attention really quickly though as always guys if you guys are new here make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys do not know i'm gonna be going ahead and giving away three of these spice loot boxes on today's video so all you guys have to do to go ahead and enter that giveaway is leave a like subscribe comment down below your username and also make sure you guys join the pvp cloud discord what's up blood god how you doing and also guys if you did not know we do have the daily double if you guys don't know what that is basically every time uh, i record i'll look at the most recent person to go ahead and purchase something on the store maybe someone purchased a spice loot box and then whatever they purchased i go ahead and basically double whatever they give them i'll just give them like the clouds equivalent here on the server which they could spend on the cloud shop right here and you, you can get like spice loot boxes and that like that so today's daily double winner is your boy jj who just recently purchased a phoenix ring so congratulations your boy jj you are today's winner and i'll go ahead and give you the clouds equivalent that you can spend on the store and again if you guys want to support the server go ahead head over to the slash buy pick up one of the new spice loot boxes if you guys want uh help support the server it helps a lot but guys we're gonna go ahead and jump into today's video so if we take a look at is go right now here we are at our island and if you guys did not know in the last episode we showed off our brand new amazing farm right here this thing is ridiculously op it's an 81 chunk farm the amount of spawners we can load in this thing is absolutely ridiculous i will say we did actually go ahead and move uh all the spawners we moved some of the brand new spawners as you guys don't know the new spawners are the villager and strider spawners we went ahead and actually moved them over here to a old farm right now just to see like if it's a little bit more efficient and actually wait it looks like someone might uh move them somewhere else right now they were right here okay this is not good ladies and gentlemen maybe someone stole our spawners i have no idea uh that would not be good that would really not be good if someone stole our spawners right here i wait let me say, wait, I is top right now. If we click on our island, okay, wait, we only have a, wait, I feel like we had more strider spawners. I don't know. I don't know. Villagers. Okay, maybe that's correct. I don't know. I'm kind of worried now, um, but let's go ahead. I want to actually open one of these spice loot boxes right now real quick before we dive into it. Um, But yeah, let's go ahead and open this bad boy right here. Oh, I, I kind of, I, I opened the, the loot box in the bottom of our wither right there. And by the way, whoever built this, this is sick. Let's see. Are we going to get lucky? Okay, we got some endermite spawners and some cloud crates right there. That was a really, really good opening right there. I think we got, yeah, 150 endermites right there. So that was a W opening. I'm going to go ahead and real quickly place these Endermite spawners here in the very center. I think we actually... Wait, are they in here? I don't really know. We'll go ahead and place the Endermites right there. We got 550 center of seven Endermite spawners right now. So things are looking pretty good for us. And we basically always have someone grinding these right here. If you take a look, I mean, I'm going to have to fly underneath real quick. But we pretty much have someone grinding here 24-7, grinding mobs. It's just like someone's always grinding. Right now, Trickster's grinding. It's, good. it's such a simple farm design. You just grind there, hit mobs. It works perfect for... Uh, how the current eco and server is set up now if you guys did not know we did actually announce yesterday or a few days ago and in an update we actually buffed the heck out of farming okay we wanted to make it easier for new players if they join the server to be able to go ahead and like potentially be able to purchase strider spawners and so if we go over here to slash shop right now if we take a look at just like wheat which is a tier one crop you can currently get wheat on the server for uh 50 000, you can sell for fifty thousand dollars which is ridiculous potatoes those sell for a hundred thousand now carrots sell for two hundred k sugarcane sells for 150 even though it's tier fourth because you can hit two of them at the same time but then finally the uh the kind of top line the best crop you can hit right now is nether wart that is currently selling for five hundred thousand dollars and if you guys don't remember we built a ton of of these crop farms over here on this side of our island if you guys remember we literally built so many of these and so like right now you guys see people on our island are just absolutely grinding crop farms right now it's the number one thing to do and if you guys didn't know as well we also built a ton of nether wart farms and let's just say these things are kind of op and so if i hop in this mine cart right here actually let me get rid of this one because this farm kind of is missing some nether wart real quick there's so many extra mine carts we have to break so many people yo yo my island big announcement for my island if you guys are like on a mine cart and get off please break your mine cart because it's all 
probably so annoying that I have to break them to get back onto the farm. But okay, here we are. This is the farm right now. Let me go ahead. I think there is a global event going on. If you guys didn't know, we do global boosters every single day. I don't have any money boosters. Let me just go ahead. I'm going to open all these. I'm sure we'll get... We're, we're definitely going to get a money booster in one of these, right? Oh my gosh, we literally didn't get any. Wait, okay, hold up. I got a message Gucci thing. I need to try to get a booster from him real quick. All right, guys. So now that we went ahead and got our boosters right here, um, we got one right here. Gucci gave me a three times for 30 minutes. So we have a three times for 30 minutes and we have a two times going on in the background. So I don't know. I don't know how that works. I think it's just like a three times multiplier and a two times individually. I don't think it stacks up to five, but I could be wrong. But if we go ahead and place this minecart down right here, and obviously if you guys don't remember, we absolutely maxed out my uh, my hoe right here. I mean, if you take a look at the harvester hoe right here, uh, we have this thing as, as maxed out as you can get it. It's a level 100. We got auto sell, money boosters, got all the buffs on it and token boost buffs. And also something I wanted to mention, I totally forgot, is that in token shop, there are now spice spawner pouches. And we can actually buy a couple of these real quick. If you guys don't know what these are, if I go ahead and right click it, you can get some of the brand new spawners by this as well. And obviously you get tokens while you're also farming. So you get a ton of money while farming nether wart, which I'll show you guys how much here in a second. But then you also are able to buy this. I mean, like it's pretty like this is by far like the meta right now on the server to get value, to get spawners um, because we like switching it up. Some weeks we want to do like more mob farming meta. Some weeks we want to do more crop farming. Um, and who knows like, if you guys have any other suggestions for some fun ecos, definitely let us know down below in the comment section. But yeah, let me go here. I'm going to pop all our boosters and I'll pop my money pet. I don't know what happened to my level 250 money pet. I think I lent it to someone and it's just kind of like gone. But we go to boosters right here. Uh, we're going to go and activate a three times and we're at 15 trill right now, guys. And if I just go here, I'll hold I'll hold this down for like 60 seconds right now. Okay, we're at 15 trill. Okay, here we go. 15.88. Let's just see how much we make in our next reward summary. Okay. Oh, wait, what? There's a mine car. Are you kidding me, bro? No way there's another mine car on this track. Yo, I literally gonna have to start like kicking people from my island, bro. There's no way people are doing this to me right now. Okay, here we go. We're at 15.93 trill. Let's go ahead and see how much we make with a really, really OP harvester hoe right now. Like I said, it's as really OP as it can get right now. And so hopefully make a decent amount of money. We got money pet on. It's only level one, but we got all the boosters available. I mean, we already made like, I think five. Oh my gosh, bro. Look how quickly the money is going up on the scoreboard. We're here at 6.23 trill right now, bro. What? Okay, we have like 30 seconds left and I'm pretty sure we've already made $600 billion already. That's insane, bro. Three, two, one, and boom. There we go. 16.9 trillion. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure we just made $1 trillion in 60 seconds. Like I'm pretty sure that is just how much we made right there. Uh, we started a little late, so that was like 700 bill. But yeah, we made just about a trillion dollars uh, in about 60 seconds. And again, the brand new spawner costs about three trill. So basically right now from this farm, you can get one of the brand new strider spawners every three minutes if you have like a maxed out set. Like again, we grinded out a maxed out money set very early on in the season. We maxed out our hoe early in the season. I also will say next season, just so everyone knows a little PSA, we are probably going to make it a lot more difficult to max out your harvester hoe. I'm pretty sure people had like maxed out hoes like within the first three days of the server, if not even sooner. We're going to make it a lot more difficult so that it's like something you really are working on the entire season to max it out. Uh, just a little heads up though. And we'll probably make it so that like the max level or the highest level on it is like level like a thousand or something. But regardless for the new season and for the current season, uh, this is like exactly what like we need. This is going to make it so easy for us. And again, we are grinding tokens while doing this because obviously you get tokens and we might buff the amount of tokens you get just because right now it's really, you don't really get a crazy amount compared to what you really need. But again, with tokens, you could go ahead and buy the spice spawner pouches so you can get spawners that way and on top of it you're gonna get spawners just by being able to buy them right here i mean right now i think i could probably buy like five boom just like that five strider spawners right there and if we head over to our is go right now i mean yeah it's just you make an insane amount of money it's super super op do we have striders right here okay we do have our strider spawners in here it looks like that okay boom there you go we're up in our value that's really the most important thing wait what the heck why are the striders spawning on top of this bro we do not need you guys on top of this but yeah if you guys didn't know the void orbs those are a ton and if we do a little sell all right there uh a nice little light 1.7 billion just casual just like making a, a pretty solid amount of money but yeah as you guys can imagine super op meta um obviously like the other crops are still really really good you do have to like get your hoe to level 100 and so if you have to do that like the manual way by grinding like all the basic like wheat like wheat you could still make a ton of money with like if i have a mine cart let's just see real quick like how much do i make with meat with wheat right here i mean granted i do have a full money set on and like a maxed out hoe but like i feel like you're probably gonna make still a pretty decent amount of money i think you'll make about 10 percent less because wait isn't wheat yeah wheat is literally like 10 percent of uh nether wart 
So you'll make about 100 billion every minute, which is still super sustainable. That means you could get still these spawners like every 30 minutes, which if you're just starting out, that is really, really good. So yeah, I really like the new eco right now. We've made it super easy for other players to be able to like log on to the server, start with the basics, build a little wheat farm right here, you know, get the, all the basics going. So I personally like it a lot. And again, guys, if you need a little tip or trick on how to go ahead and utilize these farms, what I recommend you do is when you get to a crop farm, hold down like the hit button. And then after you guys do that, let it get rolling here in a second. Okay, boom, there we go. Now that it's doing that, what you'll do is do F3 and T. It'll reload the resource pack, but if you have the hit button down, I have no, none of my hands are on my keyboard or mouse right now. It's auto grinding for us, and this is allowed on the server. It's F3T trick, and you can just like mute the sound in the background, put on a Netflix show, or watch some more Dazzer videos on your computer. Let this run in the background. You do have to be like AFK. Like you can't leave your computer. You can't like fully AFK farm here on the server, but you are allowed to go ahead and like if you're on your computer, you can just put on a side monitor and just like make trillions of dollars just by grinding Nether Ward all day. This is like the best meta. It's super super OP, and I really do recommend everyone try it and does it because it's super worth it right now but yeah guys right now things are looking pretty interesting here on the server if we take a look at ice top i think we're gonna make we're ice top number five right now which is pretty solid we do have some really really solid islands around us at the moment though so i will not be surprised if people are able to go ahead and pass us as always we always are recruiting for our islands so if any of you are at all interested in potentially joining please let me know down below in the comment section because it does help out a ton it, like having more members on our island and yeah guys overall things are looking pretty interesting right now i realize i have some I have a ton of spawners in here. I actually need to go place real quick. Like, let me head over to the island. Let me place these real quick because I'll forget to do it. Like, I probably have like a ton of spawners in my PV. Look at all these spawners. I always, I always forget to like place them. I don't know why. I just do it like that. It's weird. And why are Striders spawning on top, bro? Like, what the heck? Wait, why are, why don't we have a area for, bro? Dude, this is so scuffed. This farm is so scuffed, chat. Like, we, we, I need to fix this real quick. Wait, wait. I literally, I don't know. Some of this is super weird. We don't even have bee spawners. Do we have creeper spawners, endermites? Okay, yeah. I gotta fix this real quick. Wait, hold up. Island, I will do something good for our island for once i'm gonna go ahead and fix the uh really weird setup we have going on right here all right guys this is a lot better the the spawners actually spawn correctly now so now people will be able to go ahead and actually wait i'm gonna convert this into uh whatever it's called real quick just so that they're like slabs on top so mobs don't spawn on top as well we'll do quartz slabs right here and we'll throw a little dazzer purple on the top as well just so people know your boy is responsible for really optimizing the spawners currently on our island right now because i don't know why no one did this i don't know why we were probably losing a lot of efficiency right here so boom there we go spawner stack is looking really good makes it easy to add spawners on top as well since like you can't directly place spawners on top you have to use like a block to do it so pretty happy with that my island please clap in the comment section because uh you know i helped you guys out a ton but guys uh we are gonna go ahead wind off today's video here on pvp cloud minecraft skyblock again guys if you want come and check out the server we're literally having so much fun there's still multiple weeks left of this season so we hope to see you guys and things are gonna get tight down the road because obviously as you guys know the very last week of the server is the most important since we are competing for the map winner tag and the map winner rewards it's a ton of fun and you guys are absolutely not going to want to miss it and again guys if you want to support the server support or the the store or whatever uh make sure you guys go ahead do you can do slash buy pick up one of the brand new spice loot boxes and you might be also my next video's daily double winner who knows but guys we're gonna go ahead and wind it off here thank you all so much for watching i will see you guys all in the next one and until then bye bye